2015 is the year that Marty McFly travels to in the second installment of the Back to the Future films. And a few weeks ago, we looked at some of the predictions the movie made about what life would be like today. But as DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford reports, today the Urban Institute made its own predictions about what our region will look like come the year 2030. The message from a trip through downtown Washington is money, development, growth. And a computer model put together by the Urban Institute suggests much growth for the entire metropolitan region is going to continue through 2030. There are factors that are bringing Washington lots more people from all over the place. We're, we're wealthy, we have the economy that brings new people in. His computer model called Mapping America's Future allows you to choose rates of growth for all metropolitan areas to see what happens. For metropolitan Washington, looking ahead to 2030, he sees a 37 percent increase in the population. That's two million more people. Demographically, a 23 percent increase in the white population, almost no increase in the black population, but explosive growth in Hispanics and others, meaning Asians and mixed race. Age-wise, the model finds an increase of 20 percent in children and teens, more than 60 percent jump in the 24 to 49 year olds, more middle-aged people, and a doubling of the elderly population. So the point of doing this is to open up possibilities, is to let people explore how might things change. And so if you're going to pack 37 percent more people in the same geographic region that is metropolitan Washington, it suggests that the cost of living is going to go up. The question, by how much? Reporting from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, Sam, thank you.